Welcome back to my channel. This is Nikki of Nikki's Homemade Crafts. Today I'm going to teach you how to crochet this zippered hook or pencil case, which makes the perfect gift or store solution. This pattern is part of a very special event called the Advent Calendar Crochet Along Volume 2. It has a mystery feature to it because you don't know which pattern I will be publishing each day. The entire event has 30 crochet patterns. 24 of them will be available free to view on my website. But again, you don't know which one. The 24 patterns will also be available in my membership at Free and Printer Friendly. You can also get those on Ravelry and Etsy as a PDF. All 30 crochet patterns include a video tutorial. If you want to get all 30 crochet patterns ad free and printer friendly, then get my ebook at the link down below in the description or my website. All 30 crochet patterns are last minute gift ideas. The entire event is sponsored by Premier Yarns. Now let's get started with today's quick crochet pattern. In order to get started, you're gonna need some worsted yarn. I'm using Premier's Just Yarn in 100% acrylic in the color purple. I am also using a four millimeter crochet hook. You're also going to need a zipper. If your zipper is too long, like mine is too long, I'm simply going to cut a part of it and that way I can still use it. You're gonna need one that is about 12 inches from this point to this point right here. And then you need to decide whether you're going to sew it on by hand and you may need some thread or if you're going to use your sewing machine. Either way works fine. I'm going to show you a small swatch, but you're going to chain 52. Once you chain 52, you're going to do something is called a linked crochet. The entire project is made in linked double crochet. Instead of doing a yarn over, you're going to insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, yarn over, and that is your yarn over for the double crochet. And then you're going to insert your hook into the next chain, yarn over there, and you have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. This turning chain right here does not count as a stitch. Once you've made your very first linked double crochet, you're gonna see that horizontal bar right there. You're going to insert your hook there, then yarn over and pull through. That is your yarn over for the double crochet. And now insert it into the next stitch and then yarn over, pull through, and now finish it up like a double crochet. You're gonna continue that for the entire row. Once you're done, it's gonna look like this and you're gonna turn, obviously yours is much longer than mine. And now you're going to chain two. And again, that chain does not count as a stitch. It is just so that you can start with your linked double crochet. So you're gonna insert your hook into the second chain from the hook, yarn over and pull through. Now insert into the first stitch, yarn over and pull through, and now finish it up like a double crochet. You're gonna continue crocheting linked double crochet just like you've just done for four rows in total. So this is row one, row two, and then two more rows on top of that. So let's pretend I just did the four rows and remember each row has 50 stitches. So you're now going to go inward seven stitches, okay? I'm just gonna do two on each side so you can see how it's gonna look like. But you're going to do seven on each side. So let me show you what that actually means. You're going to slip stitch seven stitches. So there will be seven slip stitches. I just did two just for this little swatch. And then you're going to do a chain of two and you're going to do what you've done before, is the linked double crochet. And you're gonna do the linked double crochet until you have seven stitches left, then you're going to turn. So I'm gonna do this until I have two stitches left over here for this tiny swatch. Now you have seven skipped stitches in the front that you did as slip stitches, and you have seven in the back. Now you're gonna crochet without any increases or decreases, seven more rows of linked double crochet, the exact amount, which should be 36 stitches per row. So you're gonna end up with eight rows of 36 stitches each, all done in linked crochet. Now let's pretend I just did that. 
and now you need to go outward again. So meaning we're going back to 50 stitches each. So let me show you how to do that. Once you have done your eight rows, you now need to do an extension, okay? So now we're gonna need to go and add seven more stitches right here. So in order to do that, we're going to do a chain of seven and then plus two for that turning chain. So I'm just going to do a chain of two here plus two because I did two of them. You're going to do a chain of nine in total. Then you're going to turn and you're going to do your linked double crochet stitches starting from the second chain from the hook. You're going to pull up your loops from the second and third, make your linked double crochet and then continue doing linked double crochet stitches in each chain that you made. And then you're going to continue on on the stitches that you have already until the end. And then I'll show you how to do the extension on the other side. So once you're at the end, you now need to extend onto it in order to have the little extension that we have on this side. You are also going to need it on the other side. So we need seven extra stitches. So in order to do that, we're going to do the chain is foundation chain using linked crochet. So you're going to insert your hook into that horizontal bar, yarn over and pull through. You're going to insert it into that stitch that you just used. Insert it again, yarn over and pull through. And now yarn over and pull through, you made your chain, okay? And now you have three loops on your hook, finish it up like a double crochet. So that's our very first extended stitch. Now let's do another one. Insert your hook into the horizontal bar, go through the stitch that you just made down here, that chain, okay, go through it yarn over and pull through. You made a new chain right here. Yarn over and pull through. And now you have three loops on your hook. Finish it up like a double crochet. So you're going to do seven in total until you have seven additional stitches on the side, on each side, and you're back to having 50 stitches for this row. Then you're going to turn and you're going to crochet seven more rows of just linked double crochet stitches, all with 50 stitches per row. Then you're going to repeat the process that we just did over here, okay? Where you're going to do slip stitches, seven in, then 36 linked double crochet stitches, skip the last seven and turn. Then you're going to do eight in total. So that means after you did the first one, seven more rows of 36 stitches each. And then you're going to do the extension again, but that this time you're going to do only four rows. So let me actually show you how that looks like in the end. So once you've done that, it's going to look like this. Okay, so we have here 50 stitches per row. There's four rows over here. Then you slip stitched seven in, 36 linked double crochet stitches, skip seven on the other side. You did eight rows of linked double crochet of 36 stitches each. Then you chained and made an extension right here of nine chains. So you have seven extra linked double crochet stitches here, continued on, and then you did the extension on the other side using the chain as foundation chain using linked double crochet, just like I just showed you. Then you do seven more rows of 50 stitches each in linked double crochet. And then right here is where you're gonna repeat the exact same process you did over here. Slip stitch seven in, 36 stitches. So here exactly the same way and skip the last seven. Then you do seven more rows of 36 stitches each. And then you do the extension again, just like you did over here. You chain nine, then you make seven linked double crochet stitches, then 36 more. And then you do the extension over here, same way as you did over here with the chain is foundation chain using linked double crochet. And that's 50 stitches each right here. And then you do three more rows of linked double crochet. Then you're done. Then it's even. You have four rows here, four rows here, then eight rows, eight rows, eight rows. So that way, once we now fold it like so, now going to have in the middle also, once these are attached, eight rows. So everything has to match, okay? Now you're going to take your zipper and you're going to attach it right here. So if yours is too long like mine, it's totally fine. Longer is better than shorter, okay? Then you're going to simply 
sew it on on each side right here where the, so meaning the last and the first row are going to be sewn onto the zipper and you're going to stop right here and here okay so the zipper can here hang over just a tad over here and hang over just a tad over here that's totally fine but don't go too far the zipper needs to stop the actual zipper right here needs to stop right here no longer than that so I'm going to sew mine on now. You need to choose whether you're going to be using thread or whether you're going to use it with a sewing machine. Once you have it sewn on, I use my sewing machine to sew it on and I use some black so you can't really see it. Now it's time to sew these two sides together. So you're going to fold this over and you're going to sew these two layers together on each side. How you're going to sew it on is up to you. I'm just going to use the mattress stitch. So let me show you on this side. So obviously I need to cut this to make sure that it's not too long. So I'm just gonna cut a piece of it right here. And obviously you need to make sure you sew across here so you're not going to lose your zipper. So I'm going to hold mine like so. And now I'm going to do the mattress stitch. So I'm gonna go back and forth between the two layers simply going through in a zigzag so i'm just going to go onto the edge here and just doing little pieces at a time and going back and forth and in between after a few stitches you can pull so these two layers come together so now go ahead and do that for both of these sides where the zipper is so both of these this and this side once you have both of these sides seamed together now we're going to do the last little bit which is these corners okay so what you're going to do is you're going to fold it over like so so that they're flat okay each side needs to be flat and you're now going to seam each of them together Again, I'm going to use the mattress stitch to sew all of this together. You can choose how you're going to sew it. So I just wove my yarn from this edge over here and made a knot so that way when I pull, it doesn't pull over here. And now again, I'm just going to do the mattress stitch back and forth between the two layers right here in order to finish this up. I'm going to do this for all four corners and then we're done. So let me do that and I'll show you how it looks like in the end. And once you're done, it's gonna look like this. So you have this really nice pouch. There's a lot of room in here. You can use it for pencils, for hooks. I'm sure there's a big selection of hooks that fits in here. There's a lot of room. You can also use it for makeup or whatever else you want to use it for. Because we used the linked double crochet, there are no gaps between the stitches. It is nice and firm. And the zipper ends on the side and on both sides actually once you open it up you have a lot of room in here to place whatever you wish inside this pouch and because again we use the link double crochet you didn't have to add any lining nothing is going to fall through and it's very very roomy to add anything you wish and now you finished your pencil pouch be sure to like, comment, and share this video, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, and turn on the bell to get a notification next time I publish a new video or go live. Now go ahead and watch the next video. I'm sure you want to. I'll see you next time. Bye.